Basically, I love everything that Whitney creates over on Whiskey and & Wit, and today I'm recreating a couple of her projects using her free cut files. And so I'm gonna link her video in the description box below so you can take a peek at that as well. Today's video is also sponsored by BB Craft, and it's part of a playlist with Sammy over at Unicorn Dust Designs, but I'll tell you a little bit more about all of that in just a minute. My name is Lisa, and this is Our Gray House. I'm using a new product today. It's the Folk Art Home Decor Wax in the color Antique. I normally use Waverly, but hey, trying something new. And I'm spreading this on a BB Craft wood round, and I'll link that in the description box below. But I use way, and I mean way too much. So <laughs> I go ahead and also stain this frame for my second project. And the frame is a canvas from Dollar Tree, and I just removed the canvas so I could use the frame. And once that is dry, I measure where I want the center color to go. And I think what I'm going to need to do is develop some sort of template so that I don't have to measure like each time because measuring is a very detailed task. And that's what I usually call in Marvin to help me do because I'm like, I don't know. It just, it's, it's not my strength. I paint the other side of the wood slice with Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Paint in the color Vintage Green. I love this deep green color, especially for the Christmas season. This wood round is from BB Craft, if I didn't mention. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description box below, but I'm intentionally leaving this center section of the wood round without paint because I'm going to be painting it a different color. And of course, I'm using my favorite Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultramat Paint in the color Linen. I, I just, I like the color, so I use it all the time. And if I didn't mention, this is gonna be a double-sided sign, so I flipped it over and I painted the center of this sign with the Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultramat Paint in the color Linen as well. Today's video is part of a playlist that Sammy over at Unicorn Dust Designs puts together. It's called Try It Tuesday, and basically we recreate projects we've seen and of course give a shout out to the creator. And I always love seeing what everyone else creates, and if you do too, check out the description box below because I'm at the link to Sammy's channel as well as to the playlist. Time to pull back that tape to reveal a nice crisp line. I am just trying to center the decal on the sign, and I really like to just eyeball it, but it, that doesn't always work out, but sometimes I do try to measure. But in the end, we're gonna go back to the regular method of, yeah, that looks pretty good. I then carefully peel back the transfer tape. Sometimes the vinyl doesn't stick that great, and other times it works like a charm. Just kinda depends. I do the same thing with the other side, and truth be told, this is the second decal I made for this side because the first one just would not stick at all. I don't know why, but it just wouldn't. Second time, work like a charm. I just carefully peel back that transfer tape and take my time, and like I said, this one worked out just fine. Now the only thing this double-sided sign needs is a bow, and I'm not that great at bows. I think I need more practice, so I'm just gonna use the same method that I saw Whitney do from Whiskey and & Wit, and it's just to take your ribbon, make it like an awareness ribbon, and then pinch the middle of the top of the bow down to the center, and then use some jute twine or a zip tie or something to attach it together. And then you can cover that area with some scrap ribbon if you like, but I just left mine plain. My original thought was to put some Velcro on the sign so that I could make a ribbon, the ribbon more interchangeable. And then also I didn't have to put a bow on each side, but right now it's just holding on with masking tape until I figure out what I'm gonna do. But I like how it turned out and I love how each time I create something, I learn a little bit more about how to do things better. Also in the description box below is a link to Crafty DIYs on a Budget, which is the crafting group that my friend Sarah from Jujube DIY and I have where crafters are able to connect and build community. So it's a great space and I would love it if you would join. This final project is my absolute favorite. I got these wood slices from Hobby Lobby. And if you'll remember my tip on how to get these for less, the secret is to look in the his and hers wedding section. 
That area goes on sale every other week, 50% off, and that makes it less expensive than buying it in the wood art section where it almost never goes on sale. Same stuff, just cheaper. Anyways, I'm painting the inside of these with Rust-Oleum's Chalk Ultra Matte Paint in the color Linen, and I'm leaving just a bit of an edge on both of the wood slices. The frame is what I was staining earlier, and the chalkboard is from the school office supply section of Dollar Tree. The decal is a free decal from Whiskey and Wit, and of course I have that video linked in the description box below. Those wood slices that I was painting are going to turn into a snowman, and we need to give this cute snowman a face, so I'm just using paint pens to do that. Now it's time to put it all together and add the finishing touches. I mean, after I get captured out of the way, but now is a good time to remind you, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell for notifications so that YouTube notifies you every time I share something new. I'm gonna be using a combination of E6000 and hot glue to attach the frame to the chalkboard. But to make the snowman, I have the larger piece, that's gonna be the bottom. I make a loop with the ribbon that I'm gonna use for the scarf, and I kind of put that at the top and kind of leave a little hole. I add some hot glue in there, and then I put the head on. And then I hold it all together to give the glue time to set. Just kind of making sure where it's gonna go right then before I glue it all together. And once I've held that in place for just a hot minute, I add some more E6000 and hot glue to attach the snowman to the little sign here. And then I just kind of trim up, clean up the area a little bit. I am just using a white paint pen to add some falling snow and voila, it is done and it is so stinking cute. I need to either add some jute twine for hanging it up or maybe add something to the back so it can stand on its own. But y'all, could it be any cuter? The answer is no. No, it cannot. Those are the projects that I wanted to share with you today and I hope you enjoyed them as much as I enjoyed making them. And don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy. Bye.